International Teachers' Day was observed yesterday, and here in New Amsterdam, teachers had a fun day at the All Saints Presbyterian Ground. Latani Schulz reports. World Teachers' Day is celebrated annually on the 5th of October. This year, it was observed under the team, the teachers we need for the education we want, the global imperative to reverse the teacher shortage. On Teachers' Day 2023, the Guyana Teachers' Union hosted a fun day at the All Saints Presbyterian Ground for the hard-working teachers at the nursery, primary, and secondary levels. Ms. Mahalai McCallumont, General Counselor Representative of the Guyana Teachers' Union, New Amsterdam Branch, was the event coordinator for yesterday's activities. She told this newscast the reason for hosting this event. Today we are having our day of sports and uh, this is our way of saying happy Teacher's Day to our teachers. Uh, this is our way of saying that we love our teachers where we can use this opportunity to socialize as teachers. Ms. McCallumont then spoke about the activities which were done at the event. Alright, so what we would have done uh, today basically it's a day of sports where we're going to have a number of sport activities uh, planned but it's also a cooking competition. We know that we have a diverse group of people that are called teachers. They are very good with their hands and we know that uh, we want to bring that skill out and we want to reward our teachers for their efforts in cooking and so on. So that is our very our first start of a cooking competition. And after which, so what they're tasked to do is to cook a one pot meal and display that one pot meal in whatever way they choose to. Ms. Mihailai McCallumont also told this reporter why she chose this very important profession. One of the things that made me decide to come into the teaching profession is simple. One of the, the things I, I must think about is that I didn't choose the profession. I want to believe the profession chose me. When I finished uh, secondary school, I had nothing else to do. So a friend of mine uh, told me to apply, I applied and I got through. And I said, look, I'm going to stay one year. Twelve years after, I'm still here. So for me to say I chose the profession, it would be a mist of me, but definitely the profession chose me because I fell in love with seeing the results at the end of this time, um, seeing the results at the end of ensuring that our students are properly equipped uh, to go into the world of work. She then mentioned also say to you that our teachers are the backbone of this nation. Without our teachers, we have no other profession. So we want to also ensure that teachers are uh, being thanked for their efforts and this is our way as a union in giving back to our teachers in whatever way we can. Ms. Mahalai gave some encouragement to persons who may be thinking of pursuing a teaching career. For those who are uh, thinking of becoming a teacher, it is the most noble profession. And most definitely it is the rewarding profession. Because you must understand, while of course it, it doesn't have the financial gains, it has the, the spirit that makes you want to make a change. When you look at what the children or you can achieve through the children, you would want to continue to make that change. And that is why I'm here after 12 years. Another teacher who participated in the activities also spoke with Channel 8 News. First of all, I want to say Happy Teacher's Day to everyone. I know we've worked hard and we deserve today. Now, I'm, my name is Miss Alicia from Viola Nursery School and we did three beans cook up today to celebrate. Miss Sankar, a teacher at the St. Mary's Nursery School, spoke about her school's one pot dish. We're supporting the G GPU sport and cooking competition. Teachers mold the nation and it is imperative that every pupil acknowledges the hard work of their teachers who serve as their mentors as well. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Latani Shaw.